Hello there. Uh, continue the design of my motor control board. In this video, I'm going to be adding the UX connector. Uh, so UX is, uh, let's see here. Uh, UX is a um, kind of like an open standardized uh, connector which includes uh, UART, uh, I2C and SPI and 3.3 volts uh, power. It is designed to basically uh, add a small expansion board to, um, to an existing board. That was my dog. Uh, what the hell? Maybe she got a cold too. I have a cold. I've been recording quite a few videos today, so my voice is kind of feeling tired. So, um, uh, anyway, I'm going to be adding this UX connector. So, I need to just find a few um, interfaces that I can use for the UX. Um, I already have the connector in my library, so I'm going to just add it. Um, UX. And it's already with um, uh, with um, footprint and everything. And um, where should I put this UX? Let's see. I suppose I could put it here. And should I have uh, an extra LDL for the UX? I kind of feel like I should. Because I don't want to mess with the LDL that's on, uh, that's feeding the microprocessor. So um, I'm going to duplicate this block and um, I'm just going to Let's see here. I'm just going to connect five volts there and uh, enable just goes. Let's see. So we can we can go like this. Uh, connect this one to enable. And uh, I'm pretty sure enable can be connected directly. Um, well, I'll keep the resistor there for now. A and uh, this uh, this PDS diode, or this is like a Zener. I'm gonna leave it there as well. And this will just um, connect. So let's make this smaller. Actually, let's remove this. So this will be, and this was actually a very smart solution. There we go. We can call this like power N. is nice we can uh, reset the whatever is connected to the UX connector so um, just putting this here and uh, GMP will go here and then I think I'll just move this up a little bit have a little more space here mm. 
tonight. So ux uh, 3x ux rx I'm gonna finish off this ux connector and then I'm done for today. Uh, SCL and uh, user and uh, mostly and uh, And check select. Now comes the next challenge. Actually, one will be sub. Let's see. So, I'm going to go to the MCU here. And paste this. Okay. So what do we have available here? We have uh, we have we have UART and uh, possibly I to C. Like we definitely have UART. But the question is where can we connect uh, I to C and SPI? So we have our canopy, B, uh, and we have uh, SPI 5, yes, so SPI 5 is going to be definitely UX. I'm going to move this to SPI 5. SPI 5 MISO. And uh, SPI five Mossy and uh, SPI five SCK. The only issue here is that this kind of kills the ADC signals, so it's like okay. We got ADC signals that are ruined by this. That's the main issue. So I got SPI 6 and I got SPI Well, actually, I don't have any other SPI. Maybe, actually, I'm going to move this. I'm going to move the, the UX to, uh, let's see, to SPI 4. And uh, let's see, Mossy. CK SPI for CK yeah. and SPI for MISO. There. Okay, and then we have I to C two. We got I to C one is connected to right, and we have SPI three. Okay, so we could actually 
use the SPI two for you guys. Let's see. Or I mean not SPI but rather I to C. Uh, so I to C two here. Can uh, connect I to C two to SBA and uh, SCL. And then we have an extra UART here as well. And the UART can go perhaps to something that is close to these. Is there a UART here? There's a UART 8. UART 8. UART 7. But we can't use any of them because they are all taken. Except for UART 8 though. So this definitely is going to be there. Um, the UX. Okay, cool. So this pretty much allows expansion with just about anything. Cool. So I've added the UX connector. And uh, of course, I have to also um, add the power. Yes, uh, the power enable signal. The power enable signal can go uh, to PE3. And that's it. Alright, so I'm done for today. Thanks for watching.